Hello everyone and welcome to another episode here at our YouTube channel. My name is Jose Baeza and I'm super excited for today because I have a great topic for today and that is how to prepare for a loan application. So that is super important you guys but before we get started make sure that you click on the like, subscribe and you follow us on YouTube so that we can boost our algorithms and we can reach out more individuals so we can help them out. So let's get started. to make sure that we touch upon a couple of factors really because when it comes to getting your loan approved it all comes down to the application we want to make sure that we are able to provide the lender the best possible version of ourselves that includes making sure that we prepare with our credit we make sure that we have all the documentation in place and we also do our due diligence so that we know that we're getting into the right application right that we're getting the money the right way so to get started the first tip is really check Checking your credit score. You want to make sure that you know exactly where you stand financially, but also you want to know where you stand with your credit because your credit is the lifeblood of your business. And it's also the lifeblood of your life because everything depends on it, right? If you're going to go get a car, they look at your credit. If you're going to be receiving a credit card, they also look at your credit. Sometimes whether you're going for business or personal, your credit still plays a factor. Even for us, when we're doing hard money loans, sometimes we still have to look at a person's personal credit so that we can determine whether or not the person is financially stable or maybe at least they're somewhat responsible for some of our lenders to give them access to funds. Make sure that you're looking into the credit score. Make sure that you're looking into your credit history. What type of accounts do you currently have? It's not just about the score, you guys. It's also about what you have behind there, right? How strong is your credit? You're going to need to go to a reputable source, not just Credit Karma. A lot of people go through Credit Karma. They'll see that their scores in the 800 credit scores then they'll go straight to some of the bureaus and they'll notice that it maybe perhaps it's in the 600s so make sure that you're going through a resource that is very reliable not just your credit card FICO scores because your credit cards nowadays they also have access to give you an insight of your credit but it's not 100 accurate and there's a reason why it's free so you want to make sure that you can pay for a particular service right go to the bureaus themselves just you can go to Perry entrance union or even express Experian.com, also Equifax, and just simply look at your credit and it's well worth it. So you want to make sure that you're in there. Second tip is really get organized. Make sure that you take the necessary steps to apply the right way, but also get the documentation that you know you'll probably receive or, or be needed, right? Such as your tax returns, financial statements. You want to have any legal documents such as your SS4 form, maybe your articles of incorporation. Pretty much having everything organized and ready will make the loan application go a lot smoother. And if it's a lot smoother and the underwriter doesn't have to be chasing you around for documents, then not only are you giving them a really good insight of who you are because you're organized but also it makes everything a lot simpler and a lot easier for them to just go ahead and give you the green light and get you approved third step is making sure that you create a business plan not all loans will require a business plan, but you guys, it's super important for you to be able to have at least an idea as to where you stand, where you're going. So a business plan is super important. You want to go ahead and start creating that. If you've never created a business plan, there's so many online templates on the internet. They'll type certain questions and you'll answer them and then you will have a business plan. But you want to make sure that the lenders are know what your company's goals are, your financial projections. How are you planning to use the funds and then also making sure that you have a well throughout business plan for the loan right it's not always a requirement you guys but this is just do it for yourself and then just do it for a particular type of loan that will require that such as sba loans sometimes sba loans do require a business plan the other thing too is you want to make sure that you demonstrate financial stability there's been so many times where certain clients will come to us and they'll request millions of dollars worth of funding and the problem here is that it's not so much about about the money or the quantity is just that you're not really showing that you're responsible for a couple hundred thousand dollars maybe even less than that there's certain people that will have a business that's generating thirty thousand dollars a month and once that month hits or once the money hits their account everything goes out and they'll be in the negative for so many different days out of the month and when they come back and they request millions of dollars for whatever reason uh, that's something that lenders will look at they'll make sure that 
that you are able to handle millions of dollars and that's something that's proven through your bank statements it's proven through your financial records and also your tax returns make sure that you have all the proper documentation to show that you are able to handle the loan that you are able to be responsible with it the other tip is really being prepared for collateral because not all loans will require collateral, but there will be times where collateral will be needed. If you're doing perhaps maybe equipment financing, that's something that is super important. And equipment financing is one of those uh, industries that you can easily leverage the equipment that you're trying to purchase to use that as collateral. Sometimes real estate investments can be used for collateral as well. But if you're trying to purchase a property, it's not always needed. We also have some gap funding that's for real estate and that does not require collateral but be prepared how much are you willing to risk for this loan are you willing to put your house down for this loan are you willing to put your business for this loan your car anything of value even though it may not be needed just be prepared for that question so that it's not awkward and it doesn't catch you off guard and you can know exactly how much are you willing to risk for that the other option too is making sure that you understand the loan terms it is super important for you to understand how much can you afford, what is it that you need, and how much can you afford in fees overall and the monthly payments. So don't be afraid to ask questions. You want to make sure that you understand the terms of the loan before you sign on the dotted line. And you also want to make sure that you understand the interest rates. Are they monthly rates? Are they yearly rates? Is it an interest only loan? What's the repayment schedule? And really, are there any other fees that are associated to the loan? You want to put everything in consideration. Your, do your due diligence, right? Make sure that you ask questions. If you don't ask questions to the loan officer for whatever reason, feel free to get somebody else's opinion. Look for someone that is more successful than you are and then ask them for their opinion. That Look for a mentor and they'll be glad to give you their feedback as to what to do or maybe perhaps it's give you some additional ideas as to whether or not the loan is a good idea or not. The last tip that I would like to discuss is really just being able to consider multiple multiple lenders. It's not just a one size fits all. Every loan will have its own terms. Every loan will have its own risks. And at the end of the day, you want to be comfortable with what you're getting and you want it to make sense for you. You want it to make sense for your business. Feel free to look at other options online. Make sure you're doing your due diligence. Make sure you're doing your research. Look at maybe some reviews online and figure out whether or not that particular loan is the best option for you. And see, when it comes to us, we believe and making sure that we provide you different offers so that it fits your needs, but also making sure that it does not hurt your credit. So when I go ahead and tell you that you want to consider multiple lenders, it's not about getting quotes and applying and just kind of making it seem like you're going through a dealership where they'll do a hard pull and you'll get all these different offers. You don't want to do that. You want to protect your credit, but at the same time, you still want to make a smart decision and that's only going to be brought up by doing your research. If you don't have a particular uh, company Company that you're working with that is similar to ours where we give you those offers in let's say five or ten different offers and you can pick and choose the offers without hurting your credit then you want to go ahead and do your research online read through reviews go through the process of reading their their terms and conditions what are their actual fees give them a call and figure out okay if i apply and i get approved what will I need to pay? Are there any origination fees? Because sometimes that is not told to you up front, but rather on the back end prior to them depositing the money. And then you're expecting $40,000 only to receive 39,000. So you want to make sure that you're on top of that, you guys. But the whole purpose of these videos is to educate you and make sure that you're doing the right decision. And for those of you guys that have any questions, feel free to reach out. Put a comment below. I'd be glad to answer that. And I'm super excited for the next couple of videos. So make sure that you like and you click the subscribe button as well as the notifications button. Talk to you guys soon. Again, this is Jose Baeza. Goodbye for now.